Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our free technical video report for Tuesday, November 13th, 2018. So I hope you guys have been able to uh, manage through this volatile market that we have and one of the things that Woody uh, always says is that uh, human beings in the markets make mistakes. There are methods for measuring markets in order to take advantage of these mistakes. And that is exactly what we try to do with the predictive analytics model. And we use time to figure out exactly when to be looking for the reversal. We use sentiment to confirm the larger reversal and then technicals give us where to start looking for it and then look for some type of uh, buy or short uh, uh, signal to take a position. Now I'm going to go over this because it, this is important. I had, an I had a question from a member today saying why did we uh, you know why didn't we catch the big 600 point move on the Dow on the downside and my response was where we don't it the time period it, so we're in a bullish time period that you know that that happened um before the elections and then we saw things accelerate uh out of the elections and and that was the bullish it's always been the bullish time period so this never changed it, and just like we're looking at our top date it does not change so we're going to stay in a bullish time period until the next time date now the thing is is that here is where we can use our sentiment and technicals to uh, say wiggle in between the, the larger time period that we have so we know when the time period is for the top to come we know there's still time to uh, for the bulls to press higher but sentiment gave us the clue that we were hitting a top because we got a 91% bullish sentiment reading and from that we had technicals we had the S&P 500 that was running into resistance and we had short-term uh, sell signals on on the technicals so we had sentiment in technicals that were telling us not to chase that rally and that was exactly what we what we said so when the time period here was bearish and it was bearish into this time period here so like i said when we got this big move here it yeah you could have made 100 points on the s p real quick but the time period was down so what you do is you look for selling the rallies and and we we saw what happened on this so just like we know the time period when the top you buy the dips and yes it would have been a fantastic uh short trade here but the problem is is that is it setting up for this meaning we had the big move up we came down and is the next move next move coming up up. So we follow the time period for when the top is going to be in. So we're in a bullish phase. And right now, instead of shorting here, we said, do not chase this rally. Now, we got long here and we covered, our, I mean, we sold our long here on this gap up and stretch. And we came down and then went higher on it. And once we had this big gap up over this resistance, this is when we said do not chase this rally right now because we had bearish divergences uh, and we had a 91% sentiment reading but it's not a short position because we're still in a bullish time period so you just step aside wait and now you look to buy the dips and and that's really the method of of this predictive analytics model it's not getting every move up and down we have our time period that time period remains bullish it's not going to change now does it mean that it has to be point wise as bullish as as we think no it's just a time period that it's that we're in a bullish phase meaning that we're not anticipating any type of big move to the downside so the bullish phase is in we we didn't chase up here and now what happens is you start layering in where to buy the dips and, and that is pretty much what institutions do when you get into this this is a short-term euphoria that we saw with the 91 percent enter uh sentiment reading but instead of going short what what a lot of institutions do is they'll either sell some up there and then look to buy the dip because we're in the overall say scheme of the uh of the sentiment uh 
a chart that we're looking at here we're still here you know so there's plenty of room before we get into the long-term euphoria so you can trade the the say the bigger moves which right now say we're here and it's up but the shorter term sentiment uh, signals will give you when not to chase or take long positions off the table or when we're we're in a uh let's say a bearish move down when you start seeing capitulation and everybody and you have a uh, sentiment that's at extreme bearish readings it doesn't mean that that's when you uh want to start shorting the market or buying the market because we may only be here in the overall say the bigger picture of it so the best way to really describe this is imagine this as a weekly chart right here but you're going to get hourly or even daily chart whatever you want but you're going to get hourly big moves back and forth so right now i believe we're in this right now people are optimistic that the low is in but when we got the short-term move uh, that ran into resistance and we had sentiment that hit 91%, that gave us where you don't chase and we're probably going to get a pullback and you look to buy. So within the bigger thing, we're still here and we got a 1% bearish re uh, bullish reading yesterday. So everybody got bullish on the market here and bearish on the market here and and that's what i mean by you know you can trade the you know the overall trend but but either step aside or uh or you know just stay cash and buy the dips and and that's really what this whole model is about so again when we were running up here and we had this big move up we didn't chase because we already took the 65 points on the long side here we took 135 points on the short side here and we just watched and we waited for the pullback and now we start looking at support levels to buy and that's it it's a their moves within moves is probably the best way to put it but being we're in the bullish time period we're looking to buy dips and not short now if you're a very fast trader yeah it's you could definitely make a ton of money on that and that's pretty much what i've said and you know you can short the market if you're a very very fast trader just don't look to swing trade it and and we've had two days where this market's gotten absolutely crushed but that's it now it's a buying opportunity and that's what we're looking at and yesterday we saw a one percent bullish reading so that's what i mean by everybody gets bullish and bearish at the exact wrong times where the shorts got squeezed out of this we got 91 percent bullish reading and from there we saw the s p uh drop over 100 points and now everybody's bearish on the market but in the bigger cycle we're only right here so that's why you look to buy dips and and we wait for where support is going to hold and if i go over the regular charts here what we really look at is the uh you know where this pattern right here is is a bullish head and shoulders pattern we're at some support is it does it mean that it has to stop there absolutely not it may go a little bit lower there's a gap down at the 2686 we may even go lower than that it doesn't make a difference we know when to look to short and you just wait for pivots and you look to buy but this is a pattern that's in play right now it's an inverted head and shoulders now this is what i believe is going to trap everybody in the euphoria phase and and i could walk you through this right now if this even attempts to 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 play out to the what the pattern is calling for this is over a 200 point move so once it breaks through that the neckline here at 20 uh 28 uh 12 or 18 that means the target is t uh, 3,000. So it, once we break through this, which I believe we will, and we start heading up to targets that have been in place since we are down here, which was the 20, uh, 2880 and then the 2920. But when we break above this, what's going to happen is everybody's going to get bullish. Everybody's going to start looking at this uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern. We're going to start hearing why the market's heading up to 3,000. And guess what's going to happen? everybody's going to be in the euphoria phase just as we are heading into the next topping period so the, the as far as short term the bulls they may try to hold this 2709 there's a gap at the 2685 they got to get it above the uh the 2812 really to get things uh really let's say 
people ultra bold up on this market because this is when they're going to think that we're breaking out and they're just going to do the math and say that we're heading up to 3,000. But there's uh, the, they have some resistance areas that they, they need to get through. Once they do, I, I believe that the big piece is going to be right around that 2760. But again, uh, we're going to look at pivots. We're going to look to, uh, to buy dips. And really the big thing is just following sentiment. Now we got a huge, you know, everybody got bearish on the markets yesterday. Now it's time to start looking where the low is going to be, start buying dips. And uh, unfortunately, the majority are going to be getting bullish when the, the, the big part of this move is already over. And we're heading into topping areas right in the topping date. And they're all going to be long this market when we're going to get another one of these and it's going to be big moves in both directions and that's what makes this whole market exciting because uh people are going to get bullish and bearish both on the short term and intermediate term at the exact wrong times and, and we saw that already with the first move up 91 percent bullish reading and the first big drop down one percent bullish reading so they know when they're, they're getting long and short at the exact wrong times that's the advantage of being able to look at woody's uh sentiment charts and, and be able to uh to trade this way because we already know the time period and all we have to do is follow the uh you know the the technicals and watch support and resistance and make sure that uh you know the divergences are in the direction that we're looking so with that have a great night and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow